Hello and welcome to Evening Prayer. We are now going to bring the 50th anniversary of Earth Day to a close. Put the day to bed and all the gifts that came with it. This morning I opened with words by Chief Dan George. And those words concluded with the phrase, and my heart soars. So let us carry with us to this event the memory of all of the things that made our heart soar this day. Despite the season, the pandemic season, that we continue to wrestle our way through. Let's begin with these words by Philip Newell. At the ending of the day, in the quiet of the hours, at the interplay of light and dark, we wait with the earth as it rests, that we may give thanks for darkness, that we may open to the night senses, that we may remember the ground from which we come and to know you as presence in the mystery, as evening breeze in our soul, as everlasting strength in earth's body. At the ending of the day, we wait that we may know you as lover of the night, as lover in the night. And I thought we needed to include a piece of poetry by Mary Oliver today. It's a piece of poetry that reminds us of our creatureliness, reminds us of the fact that we exist as creatures with the entire earthly family of creatures. It's entitled Wild Geese. You do not have to be good. You do not have to walk on your knees for a hundred miles through the desert repenting. You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. Tell me about despair, yours, and I will tell you mine. Meanwhile, the world goes on. Meanwhile, the sun and the clear pebbles of the rain are moving across the landscapes, over the prairies and the deep trees, the mountains and the rivers. Meanwhile, the wild geese high in the clean blue air are heading home again. Whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination, calls to you like the wild geese, harsh and exciting, over and over announcing your place in the family of things. And finally, an expression of thanksgiving by Mary Jo Letty. We are grateful you have given us this day and have given us this way to say thank you. We thank you for giving us what we need to be grateful. We offer back to you all that we have, all that we are. We know our thank you is as fragile as we are this night. It can be crushed by the care of the moment. It can disappear in the heat of the day. It can be blown away by the winds of suffering. And so we ask you to take our small thank you into your great act of thanksgiving. You who hosted a meal of loaves and fishes, you who are from God, with God, and for God. You in whom it is all yes. And amen. Peace be with you, good friends, as we put another day to bed. Peace be with you, this night and always. <laughs>